Today, we're going to show you how to turn an image into a 3D object. This technique can be used to make all sorts of things. Okay, let's get started. We'll use Fusion 360 to turn this image into an object for 3D printing. The first step is creating a sketch of your image. Once you have a sketch, you can use the extrude function to turn it into a 3D object. So, the trick is getting your image into Fusion as a sketch. Your approach will depend on what kind of image you are starting with. Is your image a vector file? A vector file is made up of points and lines to create paths. They can be scaled up and down without losing quality. That's just like a sketch in Fusion. To make things simple, Fusion allows you to import SVG vector files as sketches. To do this, go to Insert and click Insert SVG. Select the file and then select a plane. There! Now we've converted the vector file into a Fusion sketch. But what if we don't have a vector file to start with? If your image isn't a vector, you might be able to generate one automatically using software or online tools. On this website, you upload your image, and then you download the result. Now you can import it into Fusion like any other SVG file. Not all images can be easily converted into vector files. If your image is too complicated, you can always trace your sketch manually. Import your image by clicking Insert, then select Canvas. A canvas is basically just a reference image. Find your image and select the plane you want to place it on. Don't forget to scale the canvas to whatever size you want. Next, create a sketch on the same plane as the image. Now that we have access to the sketch tools, we can use the spline tool to trace our image. Hmm, that sounds like it might take a while. Let me know when you're done. Alright, leave it to me. There, finally finished. Perfect timing. Let's see what you got. Wow, that is very unique. Now that we have our sketch, we can use the extrude function to make it 3D. Click extrude and select the parts of the sketch you want to turn 3D. Wait, why isn't it working? If your sketch is not recognized as a close profile, you won't be able to extrude it. You'll need to go back into your sketch and make sure there are no open points. Oh, that's what was wrong. Okay, I fixed it. Now it's ready to print. Nice. You do that while I, uh, take another nap. Zephyr, Zephyr, wake up! The prints are done! Wow, look at all the things I made while I was asleep. This one doesn't look half bad. Mine turned out pretty good, too. Yeah, I think you should consider burying that one in the yard with all your other treasures. If you want to print these objects for yourself, we've put the designs up on Thingiverse. We hope you found this video useful. With this method, you can make lots of cool art. What have you made with this technique? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching 3D Print Dogs! See you next time!